This is the logistic regression video on the use of odds and odds ratios. Let's suppose that we're trying to model the dichotomous variable of whether or not an event will occur. In logistic regression, the most natural way to conceptualize things is that the outcome variable isn't the probability that an event will occur, but instead is the logarithm of the odds that the event will occur. The probability that an event will occur and the odds that the event will occur provide equivalent information. For example, if the probability that an event will occur is 50%, the odds are 1 to 1 or even. If the probability that an event will occur is 2 thirds, the odds are 2 to 1, and so forth. Odds are often used in gambling. Later, we'll discuss why logistic regression is framed in terms of odds. These are the formula that link the two concepts. Probability can range from 0 to 1, while odds can range from 0 to positive infinity. The logit is the logarithm to the base e of the odds. If you know the value of the odds, you know the value of the logit, and vice versa. The logit can take any value from negative infinity to positive infinity. This slide plugs in some numbers to illustrate the calculation involving probability and odds. For a categorical predictor with two categories, the odds ratio divides one set of odds by, the, by another. For example, the odds ratio for a risk factor is the odds of disease, the disease developing when the risk factor is present, divided by the odds of the disease developing when the risk factor is absent. For a diagnostic test, the odds ratio is the odds of the disease being present when the diagnostic test is positive, divided by the odds of the disease being present when the diagnostic test is negative. The larger the odds ratio, the more predictive is the test or risk factor. The null value of the odds ratio is 1. In that case, for example, the risk factor has no impact on the development of disease. These are some rough, rough benchmarks that epidemiologists sometimes use for risk factors. For diagnostic tests, the mantra is prior odds times the odds ratio associated with the test result yields posterior odds. For example, suppose that you determine based on epidemiology and fine-tuned by, by history and physical that the probability of disease for a particular patient is two-thirds. Equivalently, the odds of disease are two to one. Now suppose that you perform a diagnostic test that has a positive result, and that the odds ratio associated with a positive test is 9.5 to 1. To obtain due revised, also called posterior odds, multiply the prior odds by 9.5. In this case, 2 times 9.5 equals 19, or odds of 19 to 1. The posterior odds of disease, that is the odds of after obtaining the test, positive test, are 19 to 1 which is equivalent, using a formula from a previous slide, to a probability of disease in 95%. The positive test has increased your suspicion of disease markedly. A similar calculation is made for negative test, which will tend to reduce your suspicion of disease. When a disease is rare, p is near 0, 1 minus p is near 1, and the odds p over 1 minus p divide p, p by a quantity that's near 1. Thus, the probability of event occurs is similar to the odds that the event occurs. Similarly, the odds ratio approximates the risk ratio.